Hi guys. One of the, uh, the big things about bass guitar, and a lot of students have asked me, is about slap technique. And um, a lot of people are very daunted by the whole thing about slapping on the bass guitar. Um, just want to remind you that I'm playing a six string bass. And on a regular four string bass, these are the strings that we're going to be using, the E, the A, the D, and the G. Um, one of the first grooves I give my students in this technique is a, a groove by a guy called Victor Wooten. Um, now he's renowned as a, as a very, very uh, intense slap bass player, but this is one of his easiest grooves, and people really latch onto it quite quickly. Um, so I want to show it to you. It's going to consist of a little concept called tapping. So I'm going to be tapping the strings with my left hand. You notice I'm not going to be using my right hand at all. So I'm going to be tapping on my E string at fret number seven. So that's all I'm doing, just a tap over here. Then I'm going to be tapping at fret number six. So I'm going from the seventh on the E to the sixth on the D. So I've got that, and then I've got that, and then I'm going to be tapping on the seventh also on the D. So right now my groove is sounding like this. That's it. Notice I'm just tapping. Then I'm going to go above to the A string, also on the seventh fret, and I'm going to tap that. So when I put the notes together, I should have do that again. All right, so great. Then two more notes, fifth fret on my E string. I'm going to tap that as well. Last note, sixth fret on my E string. So when I put it all together, seven on the E, six on the D, seven on the D. 7 on the A, 5 on the E, 6 on the E. And that's it. And this is what Victor does. He taps these notes and he goes. Now it's got a very distinctive melody. You're noticing there's some resonating, the notes will ring out. Victor Wooten actually uses a scrunchie. And uh, one of those things that little girls put in their hair. I, uh, I used to have one on my bass, but I got too many funny looks. So, uh, you know, what are you doing with a little girl scrunchie on your bass? So uh, I've taken that off, but it does help with keeping the, uh, the notes muted. Now, the right hand is where the fun comes in. All I'm gonna do with my right hand is hit with my thumb, Oh, this is the um, second bit now. The, uh, the left hand is going to be independent to the right hand. So the left hand is just going to be doing the ba 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 My right hand now is going to be involved with what we call slapping and popping. So this is going to be the second section of the lesson. So let's just quickly recap. First one is... had a beat going, I'd be going. Okay, great. Okay, so that's the first part. Now uh, we'll move on to the second part. Okay, second part now is involving the right hand slap pop. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, straight after I've tapped fret number seven, I'm going to make a little clicky noise with my right hand. And the reason it's clicking is because I'm touching the string, so it's muted. So now if I go tap, slap, right? Tap, slap. Now with my index finger on my right hand, my hand is still muting the string. I'm going to pop the G and it's also going to be muted. So it's just a clicky noise. So I've got a clicky noise with my thumb, a clicky noise with my finger. So when I go tap, slap, pop, tap, slap, pop, tap, slap, pop. This is the whole crux of the groove. It's just tap, slap, pop. Now, remember what the next one was? It was fret number six on the D. So I tap that and then I go slap, pop. So when I put it together, I've got tap, slap, pop, tap, slap, pop. Tap, slap, pop, tap, slap, pop. What was the next one? It was seven. Now this is where the groove changes. Instead of doing the pop, I just do the slap. So I've got tap, slap, pop, tap, slap, pop, tap, slap, but no pop. All right, so tap, slap, pop, tap, slap, pop, tap, slap. That's the groove. Tap, slap, pop, tap, slap, pop, tap, slap. And now I just repeat that. But this time, starting on the seventh on the A string, tap, slap, pop, 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 tap, slap
tap, slap, pop, the fifth on the E, tap, slap, pop, and then the sixth is just going to be tap, slap. So it's a three-part pattern. Tap, slap, pop, tap, slap, pop, tap, slap. Sounds very rude. It. You can also swing it. Okay, for those of you who like to swing. Personally, I'm not a swinger. Great. Okay, now, not content with just that, Victor Wooten decided, oh, that's far too easy. So uh, let's do something called right hand tapping. Oh, you know, I, I thought, great, I've got a great groove. That was easy. And then he went and threw this one in. Okay, now right hand tapping is fantastic because you can actually produce little chords on the bass guitar. If we went to fret 19, now remember you've got a double dot, which is 12. The next dot after 12 would be 15, then another dot 17, and the next dot 19. Use your dots, they're, they're really useful. I had a student who went and gouged the fret numbers on the top of his guitar which was really nice. His parents were very happy about that one. So there we go. What I'm doing, all I'm doing is pressing at fret 19. And you hear that? I'm producing a chord. Then if I mosey on over to fret number 16, which is between this dot and this dot, I've got another chord. So now I've got a chord here and a chord here. And what I'm going to try and do, try being the operative word, is every time I, I tap the first one, the first note of the groove on fret number seven. I'm going to try and tap this one at the same time. So now I should have. Great. So let's try that again. Okay, I'll do that again. Awesome. Now I'm going to go to fret 16 and do the same thing. If I put them all together, I should have... Great, but now what about the right hand slap pop thing? <coughs> okay, let's try that. So we're going to go... Wow, when that all comes together, you've got a chord, you've got a groove, and you've got a bass line all at the same time. So you're pretty much a one-man band with this. And that was actually the point of slap bass. I must just tell you, the little history about slap bass is fascinating. Um, a guy called Larry Graham wanted to try and play drums on his bass guitar. So what he decided was that his thumb would be the kick drum. And he decided that when he did this, that would be the snare drum. So if you put a beat together, for example, kick, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, you'd go. And there you've got a drum beat. The, uh, the left hand can now produce little clicky noises, which almost emulates a, a, a hi-hat. So what Victor's doing here is, if you think about it as a drum, there's your, your kick drum pattern. And then the popping is the snare. All right. So I'll try and do it one more time with the tapping on the right hand as well. And then did I mention you have to sing a song while you're playing this? And uh, I'm really not kidding. You've got to say the following. My name is Vic. I'm going to do a little trick. Okay, so everyone sing along. My name is Vic. I'm going to do a little trick. I'm going to play my bass without using a pick. You notice I didn't do the tap while I was doing that because I can't multitask to that extent. Okay, so this, I must just tell you, once you've learned this groove, you can now apply it to any bass line that you're busy playing. I was using the note B, so this is in the key of B, I'd be using this. However, if I was in the key of A, I'd just move it up. If I was in the key of C, so it's just about where your root note is. So it's a, it's a universal groove and I use it a lot when I'm, uh, when I'm allowed to. So 
Okay, so I hope you guys are gonna do okay with that one. Um, as I said, most of my students latch onto that quite quickly and um, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to play. So enjoy that one, guys. Thank you.